We're at Wakefield and the site is a waste processing site in South Kirby. We are mid-construction of the AD plant. At this site, organic household waste will be processed through the AD plant to produce gas. The gas will be transmitted to the CHP engines which will produce power which will be fed off to the grid. There are three anaerobic digester tanks on site, each capable of holding 1,340 metres cubed of digestate. On this scheme we have chosen lip tanks for the digesters. The main things that made lip attractive for this project was the speed with which the tanks are erected on site and the safety aspect where a lot of the work is done at ground level. Having built a framework, the folding machine forms the upper and lower fold in the tank. The steel is then run continuously, winding upwards, providing structural integrity. The alternative to that is segmented tanks. Well, for me, segmented tanks are good, but you've got a couple of guys on nut runners all day long. Whereas this technology that we've got here, it's one guy pushing the button all day long. Anything that contributes to the, the health and welfare of guys at work, then I'm all for that. Unlike mastic sealed tanks, the double fold system doesn't leak. The tanks are made of an outer layer of galvanised steel, a middle layer of composite material called Verinox, and an inner layer of stainless steel for protection against the digestate. I'm well impressed with the overall engineering, yeah, the technology that's in there and, and, and the way that it's rolled. The potential for leaks obviously going to be a lot less than a segmented tank. I think we're going to see a lot more of these tanks going up in the future and I think yeah, I'm looking forward to working alongside them again, yeah.